All right, uh, we finally finished up the bodywork on our, yeah, Oldsmobile, Mr. Paint Ready Fuck Me in the Ass car. Um, uh, I'm not really that happy about it. I mean, it's been a very, very depressing job, very long, extruding job, um, and I just really don't know what to say about it. I mean, I'm pretty much disgusted about the whole thing. Because it's just one of them jobs that, you know, is one of these depressing jobs that you just want to get out of your fucking shop and probably never see again is what we're looking at here. The reason I'm talking this way is because when I opened the trunk lid up, and there it is right there, we found other problems. Problems that the body shop, uh, before me or whoever the hell worked on this thing. I don't even know where the fuck it was. I'm just going by the owner's, you know, stories. But uh, whoever worked on it last uh, did a piss poor job on the inside of the fucking deck lid. Let's look at it and uh, you'll get the picture when you see it. So I want you to take a real good look right there on that lip. Um, we're talking about this lip right here. Okay, I want you to look at that very closely and I want you to tell me what you can see before I answer your questions or actually tell you what we're looking at. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. Um, what we're looking at, we are looking at rust. Okay, there was some rust right here. And then you come across here and it looks like there was some rust right here. And then I don't know what the fuck's going on here. All right, and then you come keep going across here. And this is a real kicker. It looks like they took some JB Weld or some kind of shit. I don't know what the fuck this is. And they filled that in and did a piss poor job doing it. And just, it just looks horrible. It looks like a fucking mess. This is not a number 10 concourse restoration car, definitely, for sure. Uh, the other body shop should have notified the owner about that. And yeah, here's another spot right here. It looks like they might have welded that up. I don't know what they did, but that is piss poor work. Even if they filled that in, with some uh, marine tech or something that is equivalent to it. They could have cleaned that up a lot better than that and um, done a way better job. It looks like this whole area right in here, this whole fucking corner has been chopped out of here. Now it also has holes here, which is telling me that there might possibly be a piece of rubber that goes on here or those are drain holes that are on there for uh, who the fuck knows? The only conclusion that I can come to on this nightmare of a uh, muscle car is that the shop or whoever was working on it before, they were already in the process of closing the shop down. And this was probably the last car in their shop. From what I understand, it's the only car they had. But they wanted to close their shop down and get this guy out of his hair and also get their money at the same time so they went ahead and chop 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 and rushed through it and slopped it all together at the end and uh put it in primer and said we're done with your car give us our money and don't didn't have a conscience when they did it and fucking went down the road so the bodywork is done we've done the bodywork uh but we can't prime it yet we still got a little bit more 
action to go on it. It's been three and a half weeks straight that I've been working on this car and nothing else. And uh, it's very depressing. Very fucking depressing because you have to go back over somebody else's mistakes and fix it for them. And that isn't how it should be. That shouldn't be that way, but that's how it is. And uh, I just want to get it done. I just want to get it done. And I want to go down the road. So I can get on the other one and get it done. And get it down the road. And just be done with it. Oldsmobile, uh, motherfucker, look what we got right there, look at that shit, hang on a minute. Okay, I just busted my fucking deal in there, okay, alright, I think we can get the rest with our DA sander. Um, what we got is, these are our tail light slash fender extensions right here. And when they restored this car, they did not strip those down to bare metal. And it had three or four coats of paint on it. So what I was doing is I was taking a very dull uh, grinding disc uh, that was very used and abused. And I was stripping the paint off that way. You want to be real careful with these things because these are made out of pot metal. And if you use a, if you use a new grinding pad on that, what's going to happen it'll grind all that pot metal down so if you're doing this right here and you got to strip them down like I did you want to use a very old grinding pad to do it with and then what we'll do is we'll come back and go over it with our DA sander 36 grit and then we'll go over it with 80 grit and then it will be um, ready to bolt on the car and get it all lined up squared out and uh, body work done both extensions have dents right here. This is the side. This is actually the left side that goes over on the other side of the car. And both of them have uh, serious damage right in this area here. Um, another reason we're going to put these on the car to do the bodywork because we want this line right here to match up with the quarter panel, which I'm sure, since that quarter panel over there was replaced, I'm sure it's not going to line up and we're going to have to do some major bodywork. So. We're going to do that last. I just wanted to get this paint off, but um, what you're looking at over here is the final bodywork of our 71 Oldsmobile Cutlass. This is the quarter panel area. You can uh, tell in my voice that I'm really not uh, aggravated and pissed off anymore because we're almost done with this thing. Um, we've been working on this thing for um, three weeks, going on four weeks, and when I say working on it, that's all I've been doing. That's all I've been doing is working on this car only, and uh, it's just been a real big fucking nightmare. Uh, this side here, okay, it's a lot cleaner than the other side is. We got some damage in this area here, and if we look at it, you can see that there's a lot of Dyna glass in there. Now, I grinded that Dyna glass down with my um, uh, electric grinder, my 7-inch grinder, and it seems like that dining glass that was installed there is in, still in real good shape. It uh, didn't flake off. I'm thinking that they replaced a section in here, uh, cut it out and replaced that section inside there. Um, I don't know if they went up underneath on it or not. It looks like it just by the bodywork, but yeah, that was replaced. The lower uh, quarter panel extension was replaced. Let's hope they replace the uh, uh, trunk floor extension with that because that usually rots out too. I also noticed that in this fender well right here um, They went ahead and filled it in with Bondo around this edge right here just like they did the other side I don't know why but uh, yeah, we'll clean all that up get all that cleaned out of there get all that shitty primer off um, You can see where I grinded it down uh, This is where some body work was minor body work. Uh, it was a little extensive over here on this front lower uh, quarter panel a uh, lot of dings and dents you can see that right here and that's what these cars are prone for is door dings because these stick out and when people open their doors you know they used to bang into them and dent them so 
yeah, that's the situation we got. But uh, we can see by the top that the top is done. We are done with the top, ready for primer. And of course our deck lid's done too. So all I gotta do now is get this quarter panel done, get the extensions done. And we had some other little pieces that I found in the trunk that we gotta do to square this thing up and get her done. Um, this is a good lesson that uh, you should always check thoroughly before committing to something because when you commit to doing something you should never back out of it uh, that's what I'm doing here like I said in the past several videos I wanted to stop on this job I called the owner and I even told him that I didn't want to do it I told him that and he got a little upset with me I don't know if he was pissed off or not but he was kind of uh, what can we say depressed because once again this car is like brand new on the bottom side and you can see that right here everything on this car is brand new and it was an off-frame rotisserie job so yeah uh, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this guy and make sure that uh, he gets the car of his dreams and make sure that the top of the car is just as nice as the bottom of the car I got to get this wheel off because I got to clean that fender well out I got to go ahead and whip this body work out today is actually July 4th 2016 and I want to wish everybody uh, a happy Independence Day in America and uh, some people are too happy about it um, I actually uh, called my buddy I guess he was my buddy I don't know if he is anymore uh, sticker guy Dave up on the phone um, and every now and then he'll call me uh, very early in the morning and want to talk or you know he'll start texting me and this that and the other so at about 8 45 this morning I went ahead and called him to see what he was up to and he didn't answer the phone but his wife called me back to remind me that today was a holiday and to not fucking call him because when his phone rings it wakes her up okay maybe what you ought to do is put your fucking phone on silent or maybe what you ought to do is not call me real early in the fucking morning and want to chit chat and talk. And then when I call you, you know, have your wife or should I say quote unquote mommy call me and tell me to go fuck myself. I think it was a pathetic situation. I think that it was very uh, childish, you might say, and very insulting that, uh, you know, a good example of, well, when I want to talk to you, I'll call you, but don't call me. You can go fuck yourself uh, until I want to talk to you situation. Having your wife, or should I say anybody, um, do your dirty work shows that you're a scumbag and a pussy. All right? You're just a little pussy boy that has mommy doing your dirty work for you. And it shows that uh, we know who runs the fucking household and the business and actually wears the pants is what that does. So now I'm getting off track here because we were talking about the Oldsmobile and we uh, rambled into making a phone call this morning at 845 and getting cussed out by the guy's wife and telling me to fuck off and not to call anymore. Well, you don't have to worry because I won't be calling. And when you call, it might just go straight to the answer machine because you might just be blocked. Finishing up on the minor bodywork now. We've already done all the major bodywork, and um, we're almost ready to wrap this thing up and get it in primer. You always want to make sure that this is nice and clean in there, that gap, especially when you're restoring one of these old cars, and uh, you want to make it look nice and tight and right. But we had a little bit of a problem with these fender extensions due to the fact that both of them are dented in really bad. You can see that. Uh, when I say dented in, I'm talking seriously dented in. And what has happened is when these are installed and you go ahead and tighten the two nuts up on the back, when you tighten the bottom one, what happens is we come over here and uh, it'll pull out like that. You see what I'm saying? So then it's not even flush at all and there's nothing you can do about it. So the only way to fix something like that is right here. 
this is our situation and this is where the problem arises where you really got to start using your fucking brain on how to get all this back in shape because this is pot metal and pot metal you can't really hammer and dolly out and you can't heat it up and you can't do this because anything you do to this it's going to crack it so what i did is if we look right here there's a little hole right there i'm going to take this off and what i did is i took a piece of eighth inch plate steel and you can see it right here and i went ahead and welded that to this and then of course i welded the back side as well and then now when we install that we'll go ahead and put it on like this all right and then once we tighten the top bolt up we'll take our screw which will be a nice flush mounted screw that you'll never see because when we paint this car this is already going to be installed um, what i'll do when i paint it I'm going to go ahead and paint all the jams of the car itself and then I'll go ahead and install all the body pieces onto this vehicle instead of painting it in pieces and then I'll paint it as one unit. So when I do that, this screw will already be installed and it'll hold it back in place to where it's supposed to be because if this dent wasn't here, if we didn't have this dent, then we can go ahead and use the stud that is um, uh, from the factory and it would line up perfect. But because this is dented right there, uh, has pretty much fucked us in the ass on this, and we had to use our imagination to install it. And then once it's installed, you'll never even see that screw because the bumper will cover all that, and it'll look like factory, and the only people that'll know it is you and me, and who gives a fuck, right? It's fucking done! <laughs> See, I had to do the same thing on this. Now, this is our quarter panel that actually uh, Dumbo replaced. And when I say Dumbo, I'm talking about the other fucking guy. And when he replaced it, of course, this would have happened with anybody, not just him. Uh, this is an aftermarket quarter panel skin that he replaced. And naturally, that will never line up perfect with our extension. And you have to do body work to that. But the extension itself, let me get it right here. Uh, it's in the same condition. Uh, you can see right here, uh, I don't even know if you can see that, but there's a dent right here. The same situation, it got dented here, and when that happens, it deforms the piece, and it will never fit on perfect. So we went ahead and did the same thing to this one as we did to the other one. And now it's going to fit perfect. But uh, I went ahead and molded all this in and filled it in. This is our very last coat. This is an Evercoat uh, polyester uh, uh, filler that I put on here. and. Uh, I fill it in very thick because I want to fill the pinholes in and I want to get it where it's all smooth and right. And when I sand that down using my block, you always want to use a block when you do this. Don't use your hand. When you saw me over there using my hand, I was just cleaning the edges up and getting this edge to round it off to match this line right here. But when you do this, you always want to use a block. You don't ever want to use your hand, especially when you're blending your bondo or your filler into uh, a piece, an existing bondoed area, okay? That's what's important. You always want to use a block. You want to stay away from this edge and sand that as little as possible. Get the center first and work your way out to feather it. You don't want to sand this because we already know this is done. We'll do the minor body work on our uh, fender extensions themselves, and then we go straight into the paint booth we're going to put our fucking primer on it, a uh, high quality 2K primer that I use, and hopefully then, hopefully, this car will be ready for fucking paint. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, uh, today's actually kind of a good day. Not really a good fucking day, but it's kind of a good fucking day. I wouldn't say it's the best fucking day, but it's a fucking day and I'm still alive. Because what we're talking about here is this fucking Oldsmobile. This fucking Oldsmobile, and every time I turn around, I don't give a fuck what it is, something is fucked up on it. Now, for some oddball reason, this fucking car has been starting up and running every time. Nothing wrong with it. it takes a little bit of pump into the gas, get it going. Well, now, I get in it today, and the fucking cable that goes to the fucking throttle pedal and over to the linkage over here, for some fucking reason, it was locked up and stuck and wouldn't work. So we had to fucking modify that up by putting a pair of vice grips on the fucking cable because it looks like the cable's nine inches too fucking long for the fucking pedal to work. I don't understand what the fuck's going on with that. I didn't have shit to do with that. What the fuck? And then, of course, the fucking battery. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on it over there. Yeah, there it is over there. That fucking battery goes to this car, which happens to be dead. So I had to rake up a fucking battery to bring out here to get it started. I've been fucking dicking with this thing all morning just so I can get it running to pull it out of the shop and right here where it's fucking sitting. And then, of course, if you look real close at these fucking front tires, you'll see that we got flats again. Because these tires are fucked. I don't know what the fucking deal is. It won't even hold air for five fucking minutes. Let's hope it holds air long enough to get it into the fucking paint booth. I had to buy these fucking tires because the tires that were on there were flats. What the fuck's going on? Now, I went ahead and did all this body work, and of course, I did charge the uh, customer some money, this, that, and the other. Someone's been touching it in the fucking bare metal fucking area, and you tell people when they walk by the car, don't fucking touch it. It's fucking bare metal, and you can see right here where somebody's been putting their hand on it and leaning on it, and then, of course, we had a visitor just now that was leaning on this bitch here, so I gotta DA that down because it'll rust. But yeah, this is a fucking joke, man. This is one of them fucking cars, no matter what you do to it, something's gonna fucking go wrong with it. I thought we were fucking over the situation. I thought by me stripping it down and doing all the body work that we wouldn't have no more problems. But it seems that this is one of them horror fucking movies, those B-rated horror movies, where the fucking thing will never ever be right. As far as it's over here anyway, it seems like it's just a big fucking nightmare. I think you ought to go ahead and name this bitch Hellride because all it is is a bunch of fucking hell going on here just to get the son of a bitch painted. It's a fucking joke. Look at all the fucking body work I had to do. You don't think that's a lot of body work? Get you off your fucking lazy ass, go in your garage, get a car like this, strip it down to bare metal and do all this fucking body work. That's one fucking month's worth of fucking shit going on and I still gotta get this right here. But we can do that in the paint booth. There's a pinhole right there. A couple pinholes over here. Yeah, fender extensions. Had to modify this shit up so the motherfucker would be all square up because the fender extensions are all crushed in and fucked up and it's just a fucking joke is what it is, a fucking joke. So no, it's not a good fucking day today. I was wrong. It's actually a shitty fucking day because I've already got a month into this and I'm going on five fucking weeks now. And we're not talking five five day work weeks. We're talking seven fucking days a week for a fucking month and going on five fucking weeks is what we're talking about. Seven fucking days. And we're not even talking that. We're talking fucking, uh, you know, 10, 12 hours a fucking day, seven days a fucking week. So you're probably looking at this car and saying, I just can't believe all that body work there. That's just not a whole month's body work. Like I said, bitch, why don't you get your fucking ass, go get an old car like this, strip it down to bare metal, prep all the fucking metal, do all the body work, fix all the fucking rust, 
and then get it where it's at right now. And we'll see how long it takes you to do it in the right fucking direction of doing it right and not fucking around, bitch! So today is the day. Today's the day the body work's done. We are now getting ready to pull this bitch into the fucking paint booth. We're gonna go ahead and prime it, put two full wet coats of 2K filler primer on it. We'll block it out. Hopefully the motherfucker will hold up. Hopefully it will. Doing it my friend Pete way, I'm sure it will. We gotta get these fucking doors hung, make sure all that shit fucking works out. We got a lot of fucking work to do to this. And it all started out as a paint ready fucking car. Thank you. 